What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Booster Jaden YouTube channel. Today we're going to install a Suzuki Sport white clock and a Suzuki Sport white heater. Let's get into it. Here is our Suzuki Sport clock which has the LED at the bottom and I imagine that this part here is going to be white but I actually have not connected this up before so I'm not 100% sure but it was sold to me, said that it was white and I trust the person is right and this one here I know it's white because this featured on the previous owner's Instagram and he had custom made it, he had taken this apart and he had custom changed the lighting at the back of it from the factory orange that the Swifts come with to white and then this heater matches it i also could tell that with this it's got these wires which these wires are not on a factory clock these have been custom put in by the looks of it so we're going to hook those up to an illumination well that one would go to an illumination and the black one would go to an earth the suzuki sport clock's pretty much just a plug and play and then this one's plug and play. So it's only really two wires to sort out, which will be easy. And then we've got our white heaters and clocks. Because we have the carbon surround around the heater, which is real carbon, and this one doesn't, we're probably going to unscrew it, because you can see that it unscrews, and we'll swap this unit onto this unit and then hopefully it'll all go smoothly i can't see why it wouldn't it's literally four screws and that one's going to be exactly the same this was a factory clock once you can see it's a denso denso makes all the heaters replacement parts um they do a lot of service items in japan they're, they're quite a big company denso and then up here you can see that the carbon surround and then there's no nice white clock there and see it lights up orange and this one here also lights up orange so i want to see those white and then we have got that one down here in orange but we'll let that one go because we've already got the carbon suzuki sport surroundings which match this one suzuki sport so I'm going to set that tripod up on this seat and then we're going to, I've already pulled the glove box out, I don't see any point in showing that on camera, it's very straightforward, apart from the fact that this bar's in the way, so it complicates things a little bit, but we can work with it and I've already pulled the stereo out a little bit, so all I do in this case is I remove the glove box and push it out from behind, there is a screw that's meant to hold it in. I don't put it back in because I'm literally, I'm constantly pulling this car apart. And then there might be a part two to this video installing some LED cup holders and LED lighting up in this unit here. I'll keep you updated on that. For now, we're doing our white clock and our white heater. And they're around the wrong way. We'll start by turning off the ignition because it's currently on. We'll move that wire out the way and we're going to start by taking off our surrounding here first. There is a plug right in behind there for the hazard lights. So I'm going to take a screwdriver hopefully. And what we'll also do is I'll point the camera this way. And because in our last video we installed our quick release, we may as well take the wheel off and put that in the back so that it's out of our way while we do this install. And look at all that room it gives me. I just love it. So what we'll do now is I can now lean forwards without anything in the way, and I can push on that connector to get it out, and then this will pull out to here, and then I'm gonna undo all of these wires. So that one's the DC control, that one's for temperature one, temperature two, temperature three. So those are all to the defender gauges. This one here, if I can even get it out, that one's for the stereo, that one's 
for the antenna. These two are for the sub. And then we've got it free and I can put this in the back because we won't need it until the end. We're gonna put our controls for our, I'm just literally gonna stick that connector, actually gonna stick it in that way, like that. And then we'll stick our antenna up in the vent. We don't want to lose any of these wires because they're a real pain to sort out later. Trust me, when you get down the street and you've forgotten to plug in your mic for your, your sound or, you know, whatever really. It's just, we could all do without that. Those ones can be moved and then this should pop out nice and gently. That and then the bottom two tabs are the two that worry me the most. But if they break, it's not overly a big deal. But if we could avoid breaking them, that'd be good. Oh, did I break it? No. I didn't. So we can unplug our heater. So there's two harnesses in behind there which hold it in place. And then we've got our four screws to undo which will actually point the camera over here to where you can see it. About there's good. So that's one out. Two out, three out, and then four out. And then if I'm right about this, this unit should just lift out, and it does. What we'll do now is we will take our Suzuki Sport clock. Is that right? Yes, and we're just going to unscrew all of the same screws again. So we'll take all of our screws out of the Suzuki Sport Edition and we're going to screw it into the other surrounding because we want to keep all the carbon in TM. Okay, so looking at the two heat panels here, I can actually see that the one that this that came off TM originally and the one that's on the new Suzuki Sport clock has actually got more scratches in it so we're gonna put this one on the Suzuki Sport clock because it actually is in far better condition and then we're gonna take this unit so we can put those out of the way and then it would go in that way like that and then we're gonna screw it back in that was one screw put in two screws put in three screws put in and the fourth one in now yep no i'm happy with that actually i really like the carbon eh? <laughs> i love it we're going to look at what I need to do with these is I need to pinpoint which wire is actually the wire for the illumination. I actually think it's that one. So we need to take this connector off. We need to cut that. So we're going to strip this wire to give us a bit more access <laughs> where did the connector to that go right there we can't lose that connector and then this one is going to be the one for the white light we'll just move that heater before it 
ends up falling and probably cracking the carbon. And then put this one in the wire stripper. And then we're gonna be merging them two together. But before we do that, we need to take our Suzuki Sport clock. Oh, oops. It's all right, didn't want it there anyways. What I'm also gonna do actually, because I can see what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna literally just pull off this piece of carbon because I don't want it to get scratched or damaged. I don't care about the underneath of this panel because you can't actually see it. This wire can go on the floor and the eye touch can go on the floor as well. Now we're going to... So those wires go together. Oh, please don't let me forget. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go back and review my own footage. Now we're going to take our red wire from our Suzuki Sport clock. We're going to wind them two together like that. And then we're going to wind these ones together like this. And then we're going to take a connector from our connectors box down here and we're gonna take out probably uh, another one of the blades we're gonna put it in our crimpy tool we're gonna take our illumination wires all three of them we're gonna stick these all in and then clamp it down carefully all right that is gonna be fine we'll plug it back in before I lose that plug and then it's just an earth what we're gonna have to virtually do is crush the connector onto this wire but there is no way that that's gonna reach to anything would it reach up to there? No. So I've gone and put this on and I don't even know where I'm going to hook it up to. There's nothing really metal in behind there. What are we going to do? I took a break and now I'm back. We've got our illumination which we've seen me hook up. I had to custom do this one and I had to do it into one of these little... Uh, crimpy clampy um, cable joiners into uh, one of those because the wire wasn't thick enough to even get a crimp it's only earth I don't think that that'll be a I mean it's earth I mean come on it should be all right what I really should do actually because I didn't hook up any power I should really <laughs> look at that that actually works Oh, and it's white. Yeah, it works. Now nah, I'm happy with that. We tested that one together. What we'll do now is we'll start putting this one back together. And then we'll be able to see that white clock. And then we should be able to line this thing up. Push it in. Like that. Should I do a little test? <gasps> it's actually white. Okay, okay, okay. That, that is cool. That is cool. I like that. Now we're going to pull out this piece. To do that, you just literally pull on it. And there's our really nice carbon surround which i don't know you could probably see it better like that to do this you literally pull that side and pull that side carefully i don't know how much room this thing is going to give us where's our connector there so it'd have to be a little there to get that one off Take the Suzuki Sport clock and 
we're going to plug it in. Plugged in. Hook it back in. Take your surround piece. And then just push that back in also. Like that. But I'm a bit concerned that you can't see the Suzuki Sport. I'm going to go put some new little um, tabs of these on and come back. I'm back and we have four tabs on there now. And this is what I mean in the previous video. How I talk about screws, bolts, clips. Collect all that kind of stuff for your Suzuki. Because you never know when you're going to need replacements. And then should go back in. Like that. There's the Suzuki Sport clock all installed, all in place. I don't know if it'll focus and then you can see, but the top of the Suzuki is a bit cut off by all the carbon. That's okay. That's not worth a big panic. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to put everything back together. Alrighty, so we've got our Suzuki Sport clock, which it does look kind of orange on camera, but... From where I'm sitting, it's actually really um, quite white. And then when you turn on the white light, it puts on this light, which is pretty cool. It does illuminate the cup holders, and I could imagine at night time that would be pretty darn cool. And then we have got our Suzuki Sport up the top there. And then it dims down, which is quite cool. And then... If I can find the key, which is right here, we'll turn off the ignition, and we'll put the key out of the car. And see, the light is blue, which is pretty cool. So it does light up blue. So it actually is the original one that the previous owner had made for TM. That's very special because you can't, like, you can go out and buy the Suzuki Sport clocks around. You can't buy one in the blue security light and the white backlight and the white heater light. These have been custom made by the previous owner of TM Swift. And a huge shout out to you for building those clocks and heaters. I, I love them so much. And they're back where they belong, so I feel a lot better. This week, just gone, we've seen TM go from a car that had, you know, heaps of goodies, but we've added some of the best goodies just this week. The Sparco and the Quick Release Boss Kit, the Defendi RPM gauge, the Under the Seat Sub, the White Heater and the White Clock, and then our cup holders, which will be coming up next. And then we've got oh, all sorts of cool stuff still to come up. We're going to get into some cool vlogging videos on TM. And I'm going to set the camera up and we're going to try and make a really cool intro for the channel using TM and the sound of her engine and a blow-off valve and all that kind of stuff. TM can be heard from you know several kilometers away she is a loud vehicle and i can't wait to get the new downpipe done which i'm still waiting for by the way from the mechanic from april of this year that's months and months and months ago it might have even been march that i paid for it same with the cv axle kits and they still haven't even arrived to me so I'm not very happy with the mechanic, but we're not complaining about him in this video. We're installing and being really happy because we have our white clocks and our white heaters. Alright everybody, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give this video a big thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it for whatever reason, give this video a thumbs down because it will help me to improve these videos so that they're better for the future. Also, follow me on Instagram if you're not already. Link will be on the screen and in the description box where I strongly advise that anyone that wants to contact about 
contact me personally about Swift's parts, modifications, all that kind of stuff, I'm happy to assist you. Message me on Instagram and we can talk more there. Subscribe to this channel if you're not already because I'm feeling a little depressed that the subs aren't going up as fast as I would have hoped. Not that I'm complaining about the ones that I have, but I do need more. With that, share these videos around if you can. Tell people that might be interested. And we'll catch you in the very next video.